On Wednesday, October the 12th, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Central Securities Clearance System, PLC, Harun Ajala Waziri, joined other business leaders in a panel discussion at the ongoing CBOS 2022 in Amsterdam. Anchored by the International Social Security Association, or ISSA, the plenary session was tagged in conversation with ISSA, shaping security standards globally. The panelists explore security standards in today's fast-changing business landscape and share perspectives on the needed collaboration across industry bodies to help close gaps in the capability and usability of security standards. Uh, the Managing Director and CEO of Central Security Security System, uh, uh, PLC, Haruna Jalo Waziri, joins us live now from Amsterdam uh, to discuss this further. Uh, it's good to see you uh, uh, and a good uh, uh, evening to you, sir. Uh, bring us up to, so how would you describe security standards globally? Are they keeping up with the space of innovation? Good evening once again. Uh, always good to see you. Um, Boston, standards are required in any organized system, and uh, these are being the driving force around collaborations within the post street market. Always tries to bring in the experts uh, from the industry uh, in terms of uh, participants as well as regulators. Uh, more importantly, the buy side of the market to say how do we do businesses across, uh, if you like, borders with the same routine ways we go to Nigeria, the same for me to Ghana, the same for go to New York, the same. And so they become more and more important as borders begin to break down with electronic banking, open banking, and what we have today uh, globally uh, as it is. But, but how would you uh, rate security standards in Nigeria compared to other African and global peers? Uh, looking at the CSCS, uh, about 15 years uh, and, and counting of your operation? So, boss, to be honest, we, we just scratch the surface. Uh, there, are, there are standards, uh, ISO, uh, 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 CPMI, ISO, all of those things are there. But talking about Nigeria specifically at the CSCS, yes, we've actually tried very uh, you know, hard to ensure that you know, uh, those standards within the context of what we need as an industry or as a community or as an economy, we at least need the minimum basic standards that are required, which is what attracts the buy side into our market. Uh, do we, are we where we want to be? There's a lot of work to be done between us and the regulators and the market themselves in terms of the stakeholders. Uh, but regarding what is best practice within the standards, I think Nigeria has done very well, especially the banking industry, or let me just say the financial services industry as well, uh, including the exchange, which have, you know, uh, every time they, they benchmark rules, they do it in New York, London, and an Asian country or uh, developing countries. Uh, specifically to answer your question, I would like to you, Nigerians have done very well at this um, conference. So a lot of banks, a lot of financial services, a lot of fintech companies actually who, who are you know taking cues from what others are doing and trying to bring uh, what I call now right practices and, and, and which is what we try and do at the CSCS on a daily basis. Uh, so yes, we, we we are actually up there in terms of uh, our benchmark and uh, we're proud of it. Yes, so I'm sure you'll be sharing your 25 years experience at the CSCS PLC. As CSCS PLC, you'll be sharing your insights with the other panelists that was looking at in, in, in this particular images we're sharing. So what's the discussion like? Are there new line of thoughts that securities depository clearing settlement organizations, the CSDs as you're called, would have to bring on board in today's world of innovation of markets with cryptocurrencies and a lot of other things coming on board, the whole ecosystem system that is changing almost on a minute by minute basis so thank you that's a very good question uh, uh boston so at the css when i became ceo in 2017 boston you recall i was also uh, an executive director at the stock exchange before i joined the css one of the things the board and i tried to figure out was how do we make sure that uh this company this css this csd is first of all uh, best standards okay now to do that you have to go and meet your peers so we joined the uh, ESA, which is the International Security Services Association, and we joined as members. Before, I was now nominated uh, by the World Federation of CSDs, where I sit uh, as a special member, as a special board member. On to ESA to represent the, the whole of the CSDs in the world, 
in the operating committee. Now, sitting down the operating committee, they had working groups, and we tried as much as possible, first of all, to learn from them and bring our own, you know, issues so it can be globalized, and then we get ideas about how to solve it, uh, not just for CSCS, but, you know, market infrastructures across the board, uh, exchanges, intermediaries in terms of our brokers, registrar. So all of that was a deliberate attempt to, first of all, partner, learn, also share our own experiences so they can advise us. And as it is right now, um, I don't know why you know, um, so ISA has asked me to sit on the executive board as I said last month. So it's been, it's been a good journey. It's been worth the while. It's been a fantastic journey and learning for us. Uh, I must say it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a good experience so far and we're still learning. Okay, yeah, so describe uh, uh, to me how collaboration across industry bodies can work practically to close gaps in security standards, perhaps within Africa and beyond, globally speaking. I'm sorry, you broke out. I think you're trying to ask me whether the standards affect how we do things globally. Yes, uh, I'm sure that we need to, uh, where you talk about leveraging technology, how you uh, are collaborating from one CSD to, to the other across various jurisdictions and markets. No, it, it's, it's very important. Um, it's, and I think one of the things where we're also active in the Africa market in terms of the Association for uh, Africa Middle East uh, Depository Association, where I also am vice chairman. What we've understood clearly is that the way forward, when you look at where we're going in terms of quantum internet, quantum computing, uh, quantum connectivity, one thing that is very important is that whatever you have on a nucleus basis has to interoperate within the global market. Uh, and, and that's where the world is going. And for us to begin to have those collaborations, have those interoperability discussions or interactions, it's all good preparing for the future businesses that would enjoy this in Nigeria in terms of the security services market and, and, and for the capital market as a whole. Are you leveraging technology? What new technology is the CSCS uh, uh, bringing on board to uh, streamline and expand your operations in, in Nigeria space as we're seeing uh, a lot of changes on the ground in terms of uh, fintech penetration, new asset classes are beginning to come up and all of that? Boston, I knew we'll end this interview without you asking me some technology <laughs> questions. So, so I, I, to be honest, um, at the CSS, because you know we've gone, many of our stuff is called uh, we, we prepared for work from home before COVID came. Uh, we have a hyper-converged environment. Um, if I continue, we've built APIs. Uh, we're just future ready. Uh, and we invested so much. I mean, I think most of the staff we have at CSS, either working in technology or technology related. Uh, operational businesses and very little other things that we do. Now, we understood the power of technology, which is why for us at CSS, first of all, you know, we've gone completely paperless. So you can come to my desk and find the paper or anybody's desk. What you see are probably regulatory papers. Now, that's number one. Number two, we've gone to build middleware between us and the brokers, broker portal, us and the uh, registrars of the RegConnect, uh, and, and uh, you know, with the custodians who also have a portal. I mean, within the whole ecosystem, we invested heavily in, in the possibility of doing solutions for the market, not just for us, because we believe that's where the market is going, that's where the world is going. And then ultimately, who benefits from it is the investor or the issuer, who are primarily our, our you know, if you like, um, our domain in terms of end result. And, uh, and, and if I, mean, I can reel out all the things that CS is doing going forward um, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, it's a web service, uh, 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 what's it called? App services, uh, the interoperability we have with all of our agencies. The next thing we'll probably do is give the SEC a portal that will just examine us without having to come on to our offices or ask us for any report. Uh, and, and that is oncoming. So, so what's in doing is, uh, again, connectivity with fintechs, so the markets are all on the way. Uh, I'll just uh, watch this space. I'm going to watch this space. Are you collaborating within Nigeria? Because, uh, as I said earlier, the SEC on one side, and then you've got the central bank and the, uh, on the other. You've got the, the, the PENCOM uh, on the other hand as well. You, you've got a number of regulators and industry overseers across the various, and you are the center doing the clearing, doing the depository, and making sure everybody's fine, and that the system, the ecosystem, work very well as it were. So tell me about how this uh, 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 ecosystem works in Nigeria with you at the center of everybody else 
so so for us, you know, regulators become very important. And if you look at how the history of regulation happens globally in many markets, one thing that happens is that being a depository, you see everything sitting where you are. And you typically will see regulators to begin to say these are the pain points, the risk you have the market, these are how rules should work, or inter inter I mean certain rules that are there and then give advice to regulators. Today, the CSS does that very well. I mean, we work very well with uh, the central bank. I mean, our primary regulators are the SEC. work very well with central bank, and comes to any degree, uh, because they're on the buy side. We do very little with them, but the exchanges and other people do more. Uh, uh, DMO, of course, fantastically working with them as well. We, 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 we do this stakeholding on a deliberate basis, and then we do it bringing data into space to say, okay, this is what pattern we're seeing. What do you think about this? Uh, should you write rules around that? Or we just sometimes just give them reports and say, think about what you want to do or compare what other, uh, if I look at the standards of CPM, IRS could us, or other, you like, uh, systematically uh, important financial institutions like we have to the CV. Uh, and that concern keeps going. It's, it's an everyday thing. And uh, so far, to be honest, I must say, uh, our regulator has been working with us very well uh, from our perspective. And we continue to be very well. Okay, so, so how do we increase capital markets participation in Nigeria on the equity side, on the debt market side, on the derivative side? Uh, Boston, that's always the question I used to answer back in the day on the stream, but I think I'll take it for that. Um, I, I know, you know, there are micro and micro issues, so the economy needs, uh, first of all, and then the systems we put in place, how do you attract uh, return on investment? The, the, more, the, the platform on which people do get the uh, opportunity. And more importantly, also we have to bring in new issuers and new issues. So the good thing I'm hearing from Kenya as people at the exchange is that we're looking at NNPC and LNG, we're looking at uh, Dango to Refinery and all of those. So we, we need some catalyst movement in terms of uh, companies to come and then that should trigger a significant order for the But before we do that, we have to have the technology platform to do that. So Remember the MTN offer was electronic full end to end, which we were participating in with, with the issuing houses and the exchange. And I tell you, that was, was a good thing. Uh, and, and then we need to take it a little bit further. Uh, we need to have the intermediaries also step in uh, and begin to you know, work on an in intelligence space uh, in terms of attracting younger participants to, to be in the market. Like it's been told. Uh, Average age of what we have on our account holder is about 52.5. Now we need to lower that. Uh, if Nigeria has 200 million people and 60 percent under 25, then we have to start thinking like that, different services to them in that order. I'm glad Tim is there working with some of the internal GFs and the, and the SEC to ensure that that happens. Uh, I'm bullish about it uh, post election. They like to see a very active platform like this, that I can tell you. All right, thank you so much, uh, Haruna Jalo Waziri, the Managing Director and CEO of uh, CSCS PLC. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you all the best out there in Amsterdam at uh, this particular international summit. Thank you so much.